Hi, my name is Judith Love Cohen, and I worked together with an oceanographer to put together a book called You Can Be a Woman Oceanographer. Our books are divided into three parts, and in the first part, we tell the story of an oceanographer who's working today. Our particular oceanographer specializes in geology, and she works at the Scripps Institute of Oceanography in California. The second part of the book talks about oceanography and all the different things that oceanographers study. And the third part of the book, we talk about the qualities it would take to be an oceanographer and have you ask yourself some questions so you can decide whether or not you'd like to do, be one. Now, oceanography is the study of the oceans, but this covers so much that they usually divide it into four different parts. First of all, we have biological oceanography. This is where you study the plants and the animals in the ocean and how they interact with their environment. And this is very similar to marine biology. Then we have chemical oceanography. And the chemical that we're talking about is studying the seawater, what it's made out of, and what dissolves into it. Then finally, physical oceanography is very interesting. This covers the movement of the waters. Waves are movements that you can see on the surface. Then we have tides and currents that move things underneath. We need to know what causes these things to move. Wind, changes in temperature, change in saltiness will cause things to move. The fourth kind of oceanography is the kind that our oceanographer specializes in, geological oceanography. And you study the rocks and the sediment on the seafloor. But this also includes the study of undersea volcanoes and movements of the ocean bottom. The sea floor is constantly changing, and there's volcanoes that spit out molten rock that adds crust and forces the crust to move outward and changes what's going on on the ocean bottom. This is a very interesting thing about oceanography. The ocean has very different qualities and very different life forms depending on how deep you are. Very near the surface, it's light, and so you have fish and creatures like dolphins who want to know that the sunlight is there and react to it. Further down, it's like twilight. It's much darker, but it's not quite dark, and so there are certain kinds of creatures that will prefer that environment. Finally, you get to where it's very, very dark, and the creatures that live there probably can't see because there's nothing for them to see. Uh, maybe they'll be very white and reflective, or maybe they'll even have a little light inside themselves like a firefly. But these creatures look totally different than anything you can imagine, and that's what it's like at the seafloor. And then, of course, we have those volcanoes and vents and rocks and things that the geologists would be interested in. If you want to learn more about oceanography, check us out at www.cascadepass.com and look at our book, You Can Be a Woman Oceanographer.